Welcome back, guys. It's me, Andrew Draponich, and we're going to be taking on the first person of the Elite Four. There's going to be some pretty short videos, but I'm here to make them for you. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. I do like how in this generation of the game, they did make it really cool looking, but in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they completely redid it. And it looks just really good in um, Heart Gold and Silver. But for here, uh, Will is the first guy. He is the psychic type trainer. So I don't know why it looks like it's ice type because of the floor. I'm not really sure. Um, crazy stuff though. But we do have our team ready, set to go. Um, Crobat's first, just because, you know, it's psychic and Crobat has fan attack and fly and all that good shit. So, we do have some items to help, revives, and that is basically it. Let's go ahead and start the Elite Four. Welcome to Pokemon League Drew. Wow, that's not even a sentence. Welcome to Pokemon League Drew. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. Well, there is a trainer that's actually more stronger than him with psychic Pokemon, and that would be Sabrina in Saffron City whenever we get to Kanto. So, you are not the strongest, dude. You're you're actually pretty gay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wool is going to lead off with a Zatu. Now, Zatu is actually one of the Pokemon I was going to maybe use during this walkthrough, but I just changed my mind and was like, nah, screw it. So... Zatu is going to be kind of annoying. I, I want to actually go for Fly first because Fly will probably do more than the Faint Attack, I, I want to say. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and see how much that does. Yeah, it did, did half. That's that's what I need. Oh, shit. Psychic to the face. Yep. All of his Pokemon know Psychic, and it's a very, very powerful move. We're gonna actually go ahead and go for what uh faint attack now because I don't want to take the chance of going for fly. He uses a max restore or whatever it's called, a potion or some shit. And he gets all of his HP back. But Faint Attack is strong enough to take it out. Crobat gets more experience, and Elite Four Will is about to send in Jinx. We're gonna switch out. We're gonna go into Fire Flame. Flame! Cause Jinx is part ice type and Typhlosion will, you know, fire shit up. Pretty much. In comes my Fire Flame. And I do actually have a feeling that Flame Wheel will be enough to take it out. I'm not going to risk missing the Fire Blast. Because Flame Wheel is Typhlosion's signature move. And I want to just go for Flame Wheel. It's just how I roll. <laughs> so Jinx is going to live it. It brings it to about, it did about 80%. It, it did a lot though. Double Slap's not going to do horse shit. And might as well just go for another Flame Wheel. I'm also not going to be speeding up these battles guys. For your enjoyment and entertainment. I am not fast forwarding the Elite Four battles. They're really intense. And I just, I, I mean, I miss the old days where back in, when I was playing it on my Game Boy Advance or SP, one of those. I mean, this was the shit. So, anyways, Slowbro's coming in. We're gonna go out into Voltage because that is why I have Jolteon to take all this water type Pokemon that people throw at me. And Jolteon just says, fuck it, and just shocks the hell out of them. So Voltage comes in. I'm just gonna go for. Oh wait, actually, let's let's actually try Pin Missile, or we we could save that. No, let's go for Pin Missile. I want to see how much it does. We're definitely gonna use Pin Missile on Executor. Be quad effective. Um, damn it, Pin Missile sucks. Also, oh crap. And yeah. nope, we have to go for Thunder. Wow, I missed. Oh my God, he's he has Amnesia. He's got attack boost, defense boost. Thunder! Okay, this thunder has to be that. Damn. That that actually did enough. That did a lot. Alright, Psychic should not kill my Jolteon. It shouldn't be, yeah, it didn't even do half, that's right. Okay. One more thunder. Yes, it didn't miss. I, I, I have to go for thunder because I, I don't know if Thunder Shock is gonna take it out or not. I'm, I'm like dead serious, I'm not sure if it will. But, now she's gonna send an Exeggutor? No, because we're gonna go for the Pin Missile action right here. And Pin Missile should take it out, it really should. Pin Missile. Boom. Wow. Pin Missile is terrible! Why is it such a weak move and it only hits twice? Come on, Jolteon. God, I'm probably gonna lose now. No, I mean, Oh, he lived. Okay. Pin missile one more time. Just get three hits. Come on. Or at least, like, this thing can hit four or five times. Pin missile, yeah. Pin missile can hit a five. 
but of course, Jolteon's only gonna hit it twice, and Psychic is gonna kill... Oh my god, I have one stupid electric cat. Jolteon is dumb. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and go into Wolf. This Wolf can fuck shit up. Alright, so, let's just go over Confusion. I actually didn't mean to click Confusion, my bad. Oh, crap, I'm just failing all over the place. But it kills it anyway, so it's good. <laughs> I always liked Exeggutor, he is a pretty badass Pokemon. Especially when you get Sleep Powder, you know, like, um, Giga Drain, all that good shit. Um, Zetu. Yes. I have to switch from Zetu. Crobat. Let's just go to Crobat. Um, this, see, this is where I need, uh, Jolteon for the birds. Damn it. Jolteon had to die, yeah. Jolteon had to fucking die. Alright, so Crobat comes in. We're just not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go straight for the faint attacks. Because it will be enough to 2-8 KO. 42 level. A level 42 Zatu. Ah, oh, shit. Well, Chromax dead. I'm, I'm actually surprised on how, like, like, our Pokemon are dying, guys. I mean, I really did do the training and shit like that to train them up higher, but for level 40s, this Elite Four is not that easy. It's kind of tough. My, uh, my Drake should be able to do it. Dragonair. Let's go for Dragon Rage, because it, it does 40 damage every time. And Dragonair can take some hits as well. Hopefully. Oh, looks like Dragonair cannot take some hits. Dragon Rage. Bitch. Alright, cool. Extreme speed for the KO. Oh my god, he went for the max potion. Ugh. And I really wanted to try the move with extreme speed. It's so cool. Yup, it would have it would have taken it out too. Look at that. It really would yeah, it would have taken it out. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out into something that can take actually Volt Wolf. Yeah, because Wolf can take a psychic easily. And then kill it with a shadow ball. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright, live that with 20 HP. Well it only did 20 HP. Alright, and shadow ball for the kill. Boom. Oh, come on! This is already a seven minute battle. Are you kidding me? Come on, Wolf. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm speeding this shit up. I, as soon as he hit himself in confusion, I got pissed and I was just like rage quit. Okay, Will was defeated. That, uh, I can't believe it. Drew got the winning. Alright. So, even though I won't... Wait, I forgot what he said. Okay. So, we defeated... We defeated... Will. Koga! Koga has the trees, hold on. Let me get a pack. Guys, where's our four swords? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Barry, let's just give Barry the wolf. Let's uh, give the red candy to, uh... Let's give it to wolf. Oh, psychic cup! Um... No. I can't, I can't win psychic cup, hold on. That's it. All right. Well, next episode or part of Upland, we will be taking on Koga. See you guys then.